And home for the Giants, one of the most spectacular vistas on this continent, any continent. Downtown San Francisco in the background, and we zoom into Candlestick Park in the southeastern corner of this city for the first time in 27 years a World Series game will be played in Candlestick Park the Battle of the Bay continues game three of the 1989 World Series the Oakland Athletics against the San Francisco Giants I'm Al Michaels welcome to game three it's been dominant Oakland pitching of course in the first two games so Roger Craig has made some changes in the Giants lineup Ken Oberkfell the great pinch hitter will start at third base Matt Williams moves from th third base to shortstop Jose Uribe is on the bench Pat Sheridan takes over for Candy Maldonado in right field now the Giants of course are faced with a formidable task having to win four or five in essence to win the world title it has become less uncommon, though, in recent years for teams to overcome a two-love deficit. Most recently, it was done by the New York Mets in 1986 against the Boston Red Sox, and it was done the year before as well in 1985 by Kansas City against St. Louis. So the Giants tonight will be sending Don Robinson to the mound, and for Oakland, it will be Bob Welch, and there's no designated hitter in effect in the National League Park. Let me turn now to Tim McCarver, and, you know, Tim, we talked in game one. The final score was 5 nothing, but there was a key early play involving Terry Kennedy dropping a throw from Will Clark at the plate. We go back to game two. The score was 5-1, to one, but there were two key plays early in that one as well. Well, you don't often think of key plays in a 5-1 to one ball game, but let's go back to the top of the third inning. Will Clark the batter. The Giants have not had the lead in these two games. A 3-2 count, a split finger fastball by Mike Moore, pounced on by Terry Steinbach, the Oakland catcher, but look at the tough throw that he had to complete the play with Brett Butler running between him and Clark. F flash forward to the bottom of the fourth inning. Dave Parker barely, by inches, just misses a home run. Candy Maldonado with the hesitation, allowing Jose Canseco to score, and he fails to get Dave Parker at second base, so the Oakland A's take... take